So uh, many of you have heard about in the, my inaugural address, I talked about Cabrini and our 2020 vision to be a more of a Hispanic serving institution. And it, that's consistent with the mission of the college was founded by Mother Ursula, descendant of Mother Cabrini. And Mother Cabrini was the first patroness saint of immigrants. So in the 50s, when Mother Ursula was recruiting students, um, she again, she took Mother Cabrini's words at heart and she wanted to, the school to offer an education of the heart to Italian American immigrants, Irish American immigrants, and now you fast forward 60 years, and the U.S. being a large melting pot, those populations have been replaced largely now by Latino and Asian Americans. You know, uh, my job and the, and the job of my admission staff is to really um, begin to strategize on how we can best recruit this growing demographic of Hispanic students, um, which means, you know, regionally, how are we going to get there? Nationally, what do we need to do? And internationally. And so um, I think we have a lot of opportunities, especially given the fact that, you know, we have a network of Cabrini high schools across the globe and so um, really focusing on our strategies and, and helping the institution realize how we're going to get to that 25 percent is what we're here for. In the Northeast the demographics of high school graduating seniors Caucasians are declining by almost 18 percent, uh, African American populations declining by around 10 percent, the Hispanic population of high school graduates is projected to increase 25 percent in the next 10 years and the Asian American population by 42 percent. In order for an institution to be categorized as a, um, a Hispanic serving institution, you have to have 25 percent Hispanic enrollment, and so that's where that's coming from. So, and so in order for us to achieve that, we have to get to that target. Well, currently we are at um, 4 percent Hispanic students. So we did have a slight increase um, from 2008, but we definitely have um, some room to grow. When I first started, I received a publication from Mayor Nutter's office, City of Philadelphia, and it, it talked about the changing demographics of the greater Philadelphia area. In the last 10 years, the Latino population has increased 97% in the greater Philadelphia area. And when we did an environmental scan and we looked and I met with a variety of Latino business leaders, uh, the CEO of Aldea News and others, uh, I met with Reverend Luis Cortez, the CEO of Esperanza, and they didn't really feel that there were, uh, the colleges and universities were really being strategic and doing outreach to serving those populations of students. Most of them are first generation, so they face a number of obstacles. And so we're, we're starting our international recruitment efforts by working in the countries where the missionary sisters that sponsor the college have K through 12 schools in, in predominantly Spanish speaking countries. Uh, we're looking to set up study abroad sites for our Cabrini students, but also for those high school students in Argentina or Spain, they want to come to the U.S. because the U.S. has the greatest higher education college university system. It's the envy of the world. And we need to at least be their first choice. They need to look at us because